I want to bring in the Attorney General of the great state of Arizona, Mark Brnovich, who joins us again this morning. Mr. Attorney General, we've got this huge caravan coming right at the southern border. Don't know when it's going to get here, but there's thousands in it. What happens when they do reach the border? Well, the Biden administration is uh, welcoming them with open arms. In fact, I think the toughest question they're getting asked is whether they want a, a single bed or a double bed, and the hotels are being put in by the Biden administration. So we are seeing firsthand, to the results of the chaos that the Biden administration has created at our southern border. They have incentivized and decriminalized people coming here. So this is just the beginning of more and more caravans overwhelming our system. Well, can't you do anything about it? Because your state, Arizona, is right on the front lines. I mean, you're being swamped. Yeah, and, and Stuart, you know that, that I, we have been in the forefront of litigation. It was our office and me leading the coalition that successfully sued yeah. to keep Title 42 in place, one of the last tools we have. I argued at the U.S. Supreme Court against the Biden administration rescinding the public charge rule that will give benefits to non-citizens. And so I'm doing everything I can in the courtroom to stop the lawlessness of the Biden administration. Quite frankly, they have no respect for our laws and they're shredding the Constitution in the process of having all of these people illegally enter our country. And we lose adjectives and descriptive words. But just so far this year, Stuart, it's like the entire population of Dallas has come over illegally just so far this year. A lot of people think that $5 gas is deliberate, that that's what the president really wants. A lot of people are also saying that the open border is deliberate because that's what the president really wants. Do you agree with that? Yes. I think the, the far left, whoever's talking in Joe Biden's earpiece, is trying to systematically undermine this country and get the people dependent on central authority. We know the environmentalists for years have talked about raising the cost of fossil fuels, raising the cost of gas, oil, coal, and we're seeing the results of that. As when the environment, when communism collapsed, to, um, the, the communism didn't collapse when the Soviet Union died. All those people just ended up in the environmental movement, and we are seeing the consequences of this now, where people want to control our economic lives, and they want the system to be overwhelmed, and they want millions of people to come here that are completely dependent on the federal government and worship Uncle Joe. Not Uncle Joe Stalin, but Uncle Joe Biden. Am I, just one last one. Am I right in saying that it is the state of Arizona which has to pay a lot of the expenses of these migrants when they come to Arizona? You're on the hook for that, those payments, I believe? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a cost to taxpayers, not just here in Arizona, but all taxpayers are paying for this because Joe Biden cares more about Central Americans than American taxpayers. And so whether it's, you know, you see our health care systems being overwhelmed, we see NGOs, schools, the, the impact it's having. And then, of course, whether it's public housing, SNAP benefits, all these other social welfare benefits that American hardworking taxpayers paid into are essentially be giving out to people that have broken, broken the law to get here. And that's why I sued President Biden over his rescission, rescission of the public charge rule. Okay. We understand. Uh, Mark Bonovich, Attorney General of the State of Arizona, thank you very much for being here.